one, last one I like a lot. All right, I like this one a lot. Rich H one nine five one nine six. Old Miss traveling to Auburn. We get the Tigers lead three at home on a total of six. The injured man Brad catching the three. The old Miss. I think the old actually is they call like a run off me. Just like they did last week, they go with a lot of handoffs. That's going to be a lot of shit already that Harrison and uh, Derek Mason didn't see coming in. So that's one advantage. Second, Ole Miss is coming off of some big time contests. Like they have played, I wouldn't say a tougher schedule, but I would say a more emotionally intense schedule coming in. Setting. Like this yep. is not. This is not like, this is, it's usually tough to go to Jordan Hare, but this is actually not a big deal in light of the things Ole Miss has been doing lately. So I kind of feel like this is a great chance to just keep on taking points in the SEC West, which has kind of served us pretty well this season. And I would rather just take this, I'd rather take this good NFL ready quarterback. And also, even if he got knocked down, the quarterback who comes in behind him, freaking Plumley, like that guy is a running quarterback. So that's going to be an, another problem for Auburn, having a quarterback they're not ready for. I mean, Auburn should probably run the ball pretty well. Uh, I mean, Ole Miss, the Ole Miss defense is not in, has not been in control of, of the line of scrimmage, right? But, but yeah, give me the Rebels. And actually, while we're at it, you could consider bonus pick. Give me the over 66. Like, both the defenses should give up some points here. Um, I can't uh, – I, I don't really have a sense of Auburn. I only watched them for a bit in the, uh, the wideout game. Um, hell, of running, hell of a running attack, Auburn. They, uh, they got it done on the ground. But, yeah, to, to me this is a toss-up, so that's, that's fine. Uh, with with the points, um, I. Want-